Hi there, so I'm going to tell you about some of the main features of ATS Inspect Advanced Reporting Services, or ARS. Now, ARS runs in a standard web browser. This means that wherever you are in the world, you can simply start up your web browser and check your reports, which is always handy. Uh, now, when you start a ARS, you'll find on the left-hand side a list of categories. There are a lot of uh, reports, so it helps to separate them down a bit. So we open the defect category. We see a long list of reports, and uh, as you move your mouse over each one, it gives you a bit of bit more information about it. So let's go for the concern ranking report. Now we have a list of parameters down the right hand side. These can obviously be changed uh, as you require um, to show whichever details you need. Um, I'm just going to change the date range to all dates. Now, if you're going to change a lot of parameters and you wanted to do exactly the same thing sometime later, ARS can deal with this by using configurations. Go to configurations. Now here you can add a configuration, uh, just enter a name and a description of it. And uh, this will allow you to save all the parameters you've just entered. Then when you come back to ARS later, you simply go to your reports, expand it, and your configuration will be uh, listed here. When you select that, it'll automatically load up the report with those preset settings. So, there we go back to the report and run it. Let's have a look at it. Here we go, this is a fairly standard um, report. It's all the concerns that appear within these set parameters um, in order of the type of concern. We have the chart at top and then the table below. And there are a couple of things we can do here. For example, in the table, you can reorder uh, by any of the table headings by just simply clicking on it. Uh, here we go, we've reorganized into order of points. Um, and we also have hyperlinks, which will give you further information. So let's start by uh, selecting the wrong concern. And now we have a table and chart giving us all the details of the uh, wrong concern um, listed in order of the frequency they appear on various parts. At uh, top here we have the Optus Speed Generator, then Gearbox and so on. And again we have more hyperlinks and we can go further into this information. So let's select the Optus Speed Generator. Okay, now this chart looks a little bit odd um, because we are looking at the locations chart and as the OptiSpeed generator only has one location, we only have one big bar. Uh, so we select this hyperlink now. This will give us all the uh, units that contain this defect. And there we go. We have a list of every uh, unit that contains that defect, the wrong concern. Uh, on the Optus Speed Generator, and you can move around that as you normally would. So now let's look at subscriptions. This is another powerful tool of ARS. Subscriptions allow you to schedule reports to be generated and sent to a file sharing device or an email address, um, and you can schedule it to be on the first day of every month uh, or on a specific day at a specific time, just the one-off. Uh, so let's have a look at a quick example. Um, so you can select the delivery type, um, let's go for the file share, uh, delivery allows you to enter the details of that. Uh, the schedule, you can then select uh, daily, weekly, monthly or just the one off. And for every one of those items you have um, a further breakdown of information, so you can really specify when you want that uh, report to be created. Then finally of course you can uh, select which parameters you want to be uh, selected for that report. So you could create a report uh, covering the previous month every month. And now finally let's look at the export options. We go back to the report tab and uh, click up here and this gives us a list of all the different formats we can send to. Uh, PDF, Excel, Word, whatever you like really. And I think that just about covers everything. Thanks for listening.